Hi everyone, in this video I'll be going through important combat skills that the game doesn't fully explain or people don't realise. First up is parrying. It can be daunting for a lot of new players because dodging and blocking can seem so much easier. However, it can be quite simple and powerful when you know what to do. The biggest mistake is don't just tap L1 but hold it when the enemy's attack is about to hit you. Don't hold down L1 when you first see the yellow circle because this will be too early. Wait, now hold L1 and you perform a big parry. The yellow circle is more of an indicator than a timer. For example here you can see I hold L1 slightly too early. You need to wait until the attack is almost in contact with you. What a lot of people don't realise is that you can parry all attacks melee and ranged except when they have the red circle indicator which must be dodged. So you don't need to just wait for the yellow parry um, circle indicator to try and parry anything. Just before the melee attack hits you, hold L1 just like you would for a normal yellow parry. Parrying is extremely helpful in all combat situations as it stuns the enemy and opens them up for their attacks from you. If you are surrounded, parry an attack and it will stun all enemies in the vicinity, giving you some space. A great place to practice this is in the training grounds in Niflheim. Secondly, barehanded attacks, kicks and shield strikes will stun enemies significantly quicker than attacks from any of your weapons. This helps with getting the R3 stun grad option to appear quicker. You can quickly put your selected weapon away and begin barehanded attacks by pressing the directional arrow that corresponds with that weapon. For example, the down arrow is the spear and the right for the axe. A quick tip when you see the R3 stun grab appear, if it's red it will kill the enemy, but if it's yellow it will only take a big portion of the health off and they will survive. Next up is combos. It can be easy to get carried away with just hacking and slashing at enemies any way you can, but don't forget the extreme power of combos and combo finishes. These combos and combo finishes are especially powerful in boss battles as they do massive damage to a single target. You can easily find some combos and combo finishes for each of your weapons in the skills menu and at the lower right side for each weapon. This will explain what button combinations you need to press to complete the combo finishes. Leveling these combo finisher moves will increase their power further. A great place to level these up is in the practice arena in Niflheim. Certain armors like the Vidas set will increase the damage of combo finishers and this insane damage is how a lot of YouTube videos show Kratos melting Nya the Valkyrie Queen in 30 seconds. If you need to dodge an attack but don't want to cancel your combo then press X once and not twice and this should keep the combo status. Next up is the fun you can have with ranged builds. Typically in Ragnarok you always seem to find yourself up close and personal in combat. But with this build you can keep a good distance and pick off large groups of enemies before they even reach you. It can be very helpful in certain Muselheim challenges where you aren't allowed to take any damage or you fail the challenge. The main things you need to pull this off is the complete set of Hunter Armor, the Midgard Enchantment set for the ranged bonuses and the Mighty Olympic Sorora handle on your spear. I have a lot of fun with this playstyle just to change it up. Now for some quick general tips, when needing a quick ranged attack to either hit a charging up enemy or stop an enemy's powerful ranged attack, use the spear as it's always ready and not like the Leviathan axe that you have to recall at times. For extra damage, apply either frost or burning state to an enemy and then use the opposite element to inflict big damage. Here I inflict the burning state and then attack with the Leviathan axe's frost attacks. As you can see this takes up much more health from the enemy than a rather normal attack. Don't forget to use your companion's attacks as they can help you multiply your damage. You can upgrade Freya in the skill tree to have a powerful melee finisher by pressing square when prompted to. Her runic summon ability can also change the title of any battle. Freya or Atreus' sonic arrows, the blue or green colour, do high stamp damage which help you get the R3 stun grabs earlier and even delay the enemy for a few seconds allowing you to follow up with an attack. The runic arrows that are pink in colour increase the elemental status damage like fire and frost. Lastly, when hitting the smaller enemies, you should try to hit them towards other enemies as they will explode on them and cause good amount of damage for free. If you enjoyed these combat skills, then please like the video and subscribe if you're new here as it really helps my small channel out. 